In this video, I want to talk about the TCA receptor, the TCR, its structure and what it recognizes. The TCR is also a cell surface protein that consists out of an alpha and a beta chain. And there are some similarities in gene structure with the heavy and light chain of the BSA receptor. And on purpose, I did the similarities kind of in the same color, so the blue and the teal. That should remind you about the heavy chain and the light chain. And very similar to the BCR, the combined N termini of the TCR alpha and beta chain create the single antigen binding site at the tip of the TCR. And again, we have the C termini that are stuck into the membrane. So the combined C termini are embedded in the cell membrane. And also very similar to the BCR, the feet, so the C termini that are stuck into the membrane, are too short to initiate signaling. So we need another signaling complex. And this signaling complex for the T cell has its own name. So there is a signaling complex called CD3. So each TCR is accompanied by a protein complex called CD3. And the signaling occurs via CD3. Now you can also appreciate why we used the CD3 before as a labeling molecule, because every T cell has it. And just as a quick mnemonic, how to remember all these numbers, let's go back to our original site where we had all this identification tags. So you can see CD3 is on every T cell, and then we have two flavors, CD4 or CD8. So these are rather the tiny numbers, so T for tiny. And the B cells, B for big, they have rather than big numbers, CD19 and CD20. These are B cell identifiers that are on every B cell, CD19 and CD20, but they don't have to do anything with signaling. That's all I wanted to say about CD3. And now I just want to mention again, in terms of the nomenclature, we have an alpha and a beta domain, so a heterodimer. And also we can split them up into the variable region and the constant region. And you can see this here again, that's a variable region and that's a constant region. So it's very similar to the BCR, where the recognition side is again made up by the variable region. Let's talk next about the recognition via the TCR. So what does the TCR recognize? First of all, and I've mentioned it already a lot of times, but I will mention it again, all TCRs must bind to an antigen peptide MHC complex on the surface of another cell. So what is here the important part? Well, it cannot recognize peptide just thrown on it. It always needs to be in the context of MHC. So the T cell is not going to talk to you as long as it doesn't see MHC. So very important. And then the other point is it recognizes peptide. And this peptide comes from a digested protein. And so the T cells only recognize peptide in the context of a specific MHC. And it should also make sense why it's a digested protein, because remember, in order to show up on MHC, you're going to be first digested. Because if you show up on MHC1, well, then this protein has been chopped up by the proteasome. It's been taken up by TAP, so it cannot be in its original conformation. And then if it's going to be taken up from the outside, it's endocytosed or it's phagocytosed. It's ending up in the endosome or phagosome. There's acid, there are enzymes. So it's never going to be in its original conformation. And again, the T cells only recognize peptide in the context of a specific MHC. This concludes the video on the T cell receptor structure and the recognition via the T-cell receptor.